I am so thankful. It's a real blessing to see the body of Christ move and, and work like it's doing right now. Uh, for you visitors, it might be strange to you, but uh, it, it's, it's the unity of the Spirit. That's the only way that this many different various people can agree together in unity and love. At this, It's amazing. It's amazing to see the Lord doing that in, in amongst us. And it's as we are calling upon the Lord and as we're seeking the Lord in prayer. This is a house of prayer and, and we've been exercising ourselves in that. This is, this is the fruit of it that we see here. Um, one thing that's uh, been coming to me uh, quite a bit, I'm, I've been rejoicing. I'm just filled with the Lord's Spirit. I'm just so thankful. It's good to see. That's one thing I've always appreciated about Jim. Uh, you can't kind of guess if he really gets excited about the Lord. <laughs> And I think that's something that we should all take, take note in our own lives. You know, we all want to be, we all want to share this with others. And how can we share mule faced religion with somebody else? I don't want none of that. I want to have the joy of the Lord springing up in my heart. And just, you know, that's something that people want. When they see it on you, then they know you got the real thing. And we need to have the joy of the Lord just constantly bubbling up in our hearts. If you really realize that you've been saved and you have eternal life, man, you can't buy that. I'm telling you, you can't buy that. You can't earn it. There's no other way you can get it. You have to come through Jesus Christ. He's the only way. He's the door. You know, they showed in, the, in Noah's day, Christ was the example. He was that one door into that ark. That's the only way you could get there. You couldn't get it any other way. And the people that didn't want to take heed to the word that came forth in that day, they, they were gone. They were wiped away. But those that took, took note and come through Christ, the only way, that's the only way we can come to God. We come to him by the blood of his son. If you go into the Holy of Holies with anything else, works or anything else, you're dead. You have to come by the blood of Jesus Christ. And here's something to get excited about. I was kind of hoping that uh, he'd finish reading a little further here in Psalms 103. Um, the Psalms are so great. But you know, to hear something to get excited about, for as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. And I believe if you know the Lord, you have a fear of the Lord. That's, that's, that comes with it. In fact, without the fear of the Lord, you can't even come to know him. That's, that's the beginning. And as, as far, this is one that thing that gets, really, gets me really excited and thankful. As far as the east is from the west. Now put those two together. See if you can. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgression from us. I thank you, Lord, for that. And that's one thing that if you have, if you have a difficulty in prayer, and I've noticed this in my own life. If you have a difficulty praying, it's probably because you're carrying your sins on your back. Right. You, can't, you can't come into the, the presence of a most holy God with all those burdens on your back. You've got to lay them down. You've got to say, Lord, I'm trusting in you because I can't trust in myself. And Lord, I come to you by the blood and I, the Lord sees me as perfect, if you can imagine that. Praise God. I wasn't going to get up. You don't need to hear from me every service. I believe the Lord has met with us this morning, given us his word, encouraged us. I feel edified. I feel lifted up. Uh, my eyes are where they need to be on the Lord. You know, but I did, I did have a thought. Um, I'm going to turn over to 1 Corinthians 15 for just a minute. Um, I did have a thought because uh, while I was sitting there, you know, when we come together like this and God meets with us and he comes down and he edifies and he lifts us up and he encourages us, you know, it's real easy to get up, you know. <laughs> I got the victory, you know. Um, then we go back out here, and every, all hell breaks loose, and we don't know what's going on, and, uh, you know, then we start questioning. We start doubting. Yeah, yeah, and sinking, because, because you get your eyes off the Lord. You know, you get your eyes off of what we're talking about here today, and that's the, whole, that's the devil's whole purpose in, in, in these things. And, th and let me tell you something, it's not just the devil. God's allowing it. And, um, you know, because then we start saying, well, I sure don't feel the victory. Well, child, God's bringing us to a place where 99.9% .9 of the time, we're not going to feel, feel his victory. But you know what? 
we're going to have it anyway. Because we're going to have it through the knowledge of his word and the truth, and we're going to stand on it regardless of how we feel. And I thought of the scripture over here in uh, 1 Corinthians 15, and just a short scripture. But Paul's talking about, you know, death, and he says, for, in verse 53, he says, For this corruptible must put on incorruption, this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass that uh, the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Amen. You know, that's our final, that's our graduation day. That's our final victory, you know, right there um, that God's going to give us. But verse 55 says, O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. And like Jim pointed out, that's been nailed to the cross. That's been taken out of the way for God's people. That's why we have the victory, and he's going to bear this out right here. But thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter whether you feel like it, God has given it to you. You know, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God. It's all because of what Christ did on the cross. And that's what God's looking for in his people. You know, when you're in that real low place, is to say, thank you, God, for the victory. Yes. You know, by faith, whether you feel like it or not. Um, and you may not have a, uh, an ear-to-ear -ear smile on when you say it. But you'll also, know, you'll also learn this, too. And Jim, he started out with this when he got up. It was about praising God. You know, we, we can't praise God in ourself. We have got to have the Spirit of Christ. Yes. We have got to have God's Spirit to really to be able to worship Him. And, you know, and he starts out there in Ephesians chapter 5, and he says, Be not drunk with wine, where is, an ex where is uh, excess? And, uh, you know, you think about it, people that are in a lot of trials out here in this world, um, that's where they'll go. They'll go to alcohol, they'll go to drugs, they'll go to something just to get away from it all. You know, just put it, get away from it all. Well, I'm going to tell you a better way to get away from it all. Speak to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Sing, make melody in your heart to the Lord. Something happens because God inhabits the praises of Israel. 